Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Pizza Litter Brandon. Welcome to what I feel is going to be one of the best FPC H4M videos and episodes of the series you guys are going to watch. And probably one of the better ones that I've done in recent time. Uh, you know, Casino has kind of always been the highlight of the series for me, at least. It's been what I've done for a while. Been what I've done, been what I specialize in. And I made the video yesterday, by the way, also. Sub sauce day as well. Cut off that notification. It's uh, Zonix one with a prime for two months saying hi YouTube. Sorry to cut that off for you, man. That's my bad. Uh, today's gonna be amazing. We got everybody saying hello. We got everybody thonking as well. Is that a bad term? Thonking? I feel like it's like planking or something. Like you got a pizza thonk, but you're thonking. It's pretty bad if I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Today's gonna be insane though because yesterday's episode was showing you guys that the FPC is now open so people could come in or whatever but I didn't actually have a game set up despite the fact that I did have the machines ready to go now I have a game set up I'll be honest though I only got two of them finished because I wanted to make sure that each one of these were very perfectly polished and I'm probably gonna be figuring out the next one within the next couple of days so let me go ahead and show you guys the two games that we got going you guys can see on the right side as well we got a little color board uh, I did tweet out a little spoiler or I I tweet out saying spoiler when it should have been teaser. I tweet out a little teaser. Kings Gone Wild. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. This one's on you. Welcome to Hydration Nation, my man. Appreciate you very much. Thank you, thank you. I saw myself. Yeah, Gordo. Much love. So, uh, the other thing was I, I tweeted out a teaser of the game to the right, which you guys can see right there. People said, oh, it's kind of like Vix Machine, or is it, you know, relating to death? There's no death related to it, and it's not at all like his, despite the fact that he uses colored wool. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you. That's probably my favorite FPC game mode I've ever made in the history of, uh, the FPC. Which we haven't had too many game modes, but it's probably my favorite. So, the first one is the Fancy Roulette. Now, this was a remake, uh, or a revision, a revamp, whatever you want to call it, of the one from Season 2, where basically you'll hop in and you have a certain chance to either die or survive and be released. Robozin, thank you very much for the two months. Appreciate it, man. This one has a lot better of a revision. I think it's a lot more fair because back in season two, the rules were incredibly basic where you had a one in six chance to die. You'd walk in and every time you survive, you'd get back two, uh, or sorry, one fourth of your bet. So pretty much back in season two, what you had to do was you basically had to win four times in a row just to break even. And from there, you only got a 25% increase. So you'd have to win eight times in a row just to get double. And I thought, that's not really fair, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really seem like that's a very fair play, because I watched how many people played it back in Season 2. Not a lot, because the penalty of death wasn't that big of a deal, but it just wasn't worth the time and effort, because people weren't making a lot of money, right? So, here's the revisions. I have a little, uh, I did take some time today, this morning, and make a little, uh, nice book with fonts and everything, so we got a little thing going on here. Uh, but before I actually read the book... Basically, the machine is now a 1 in 5 chance to die, rather than a 1 in 6 chance. So it's a higher chance that you'll die, but the payout is a lot more lean toward the uh, player, rather than it is toward the casino. So when you step in, you'll have uh, a 1 in 5 chance to survive. If I can go ahead and show you guys back on the red zone to actually prove it to you, for anyone that maybe didn't uh, believe me, this is the chance that you'll die. The other four are chances that you will survive and be able to go out. Let me go ahead and turn the music and sounds on to full. There we go. And how the odds work on this is, so, like I said, every time you go in here and you'll place a bet, so you'll give the casino holder, uh, you know, maybe $10,000, right? Before, every time you would go in and you'd earn $2,500 back, so it'd be a fourth of your bet, right? These are the new, uh, that's not it. <laughs> These are the new ways that it works. We can skip all this talking or whatever. Uh, the machine has a 1 in 5 chance to kill you, 1 in 4 chance to survive. The machine is operated by stepping on the plate, then pressing the button. This will either kill you or release you. Uh, how to play. Give your bet to the casino's fancy holder. That would be me. Take off all your armor and inventory and stow it away in one of our chests. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn the GUI scale up to full so you guys can read along. Step into the machine and press the button, and do this as many times in a row as you can. Each time you survive, your bet will be reserved in your winnings at an increased percentage. For example, if you survive once and cash out, you'll receive 15% of your bet. So if you only win one time, you're going to be down, because if you 
bet ten thousand dollars you get paid out fifteen hundred so the casino would win nobody should really ever do that if you're feeling incredibly unlucky maybe you would uh but if you survive five times in a row and cash out you'll receive a hundred and forty five percent of your winnings so forty five percent extra uh these are the cash out percentages which is the biggest change between a season two and now so the only the amount of times that you have to survive to start getting a good payout is four times in a row after that it starts increasing a lot higher as you keep going and the rewards start getting insane for the people that are playing if you survive eight times in a row and cash out you'll get 260 percent of your bet so basically if you put in ten thousand dollars you'd get twenty six thousand out of it which is a really really good increase all the way to if you survive 13 times in a row you'll get a five times payout now remember it's a one in five chance so you're basically trying to go through a bunch of one in five chances losing every time as you would on a slot machine right so that's how it works uh 13 is the max just because of uh i, I think it kind of makes sense that way I, I wanted like i said to make it where every time you step in it wasn't just like oh, okay I've, I've hit double there's really no reason for me to keep going it's like if you're at 10 right or sorry like if you're at uh what's like a really good jump right here if you're at eight survived right you just going one more time will earn five thousand dollars on your ten thousand right and then it'll keep going the fact that you can win fifty thousand off of only ten so that's the whole thing from right there uh after each survival here's the big thing right you can choose the cash out for the percentage you hold for example if you survive nine times in a row and choose to cash out you'll get 310 percent of your bet back however if you die instead of cashing out you lose everything that's where the intensity of his game mode comes from because if you keep going it's not like oh he survived eight times in a row so he's gonna get his percentage you have to stop right if you go and then you die you're done that's it you lose everything so it's a lot of self-control where if you're at 10 you got to think to yourself should I really go for that 11 or should I just cash out with what I have or should I really try and go for like that extra 13 you know what I mean uh why is there more between 11 and 12 and 12 and 13 the numbers are just a little it's shut up all right it'll make sense when you actually play it okay I can't explain it a little bit from here but that's the intensity of the game so we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot as well now that is again a rework on a game mode that was already here from season two let me go and show you guys one of my favorite game modes I played this 10 times off camera this one doesn't involve deaths or anything I am really pumped like this is something that I made last night I don't know if anybody else has done this in Minecraft probably some people have I mean it's a game that millions play um but this is something that as soon as I made it last night I've been so eager to stream to show you guys off so this is uh fortune colors that's the name of the game mode um basically let me go ahead and I'm just gonna read out the book right because it's the biggest uh the best way to explain it we have a board over here and then we have the machine or chamber if you guys want to call it so I should probably keep GUI on full let's get ready for this okay welcome to fortune colors in this casino game you must match up colors of wool that you determine at the start of the game no death or harm involved in playing this game mode machine rules and odds the machine will always dispense a wool out of the top dispenser there's five wools in there okay so if I go and show you guys right over here and take a look in this there's five wools in the top dispenser every time you go in I can go and show you guys out right now the mine by the way oh shit I gotta go to the mine I want to show up my game time man Ah, gotta go to the mine and ah, ah damn it all right hang with me for a couple seconds and I'll explain it later okay I haven't showed off too much that's the right book and quill right god I should have done this earlier <laughs> now I'm upset now I showed you guys like a little tick of it I don't know I guess you can figure out what you think it is and go from there god damn it all right fine hold on hold on I gotta go get my stuff and go back Blech. I gotta go to the mine I gotta go to the mine real fast we're just gonna go to the mine to make money by the way because we're doing the casino today I want to make sure that I get just like a fat amount of stacks so I'm not gonna try killing anybody I'm not gonna try going for the chest I'm just gonna go for uh what's it 113 yeah we got time I gotta go get my stuff back real fast so let me go ahead and drop in a majority of all my stuff right over here we do have our uh, better pickaxe it doesn't have haste on it I wasn't able to get the uh the money for it. I don't want to work on getting haste right it's just not what I'm really looking forward to or not what I'm uh, focused on so let me go on my PV1 uh we do have all of our stuff working right now let me get a few more gapples let me get eight yeah we'll get a uh, 10 in total there we go 
And then we got our Ender Pearls. We can take 16, that's fine. Uh, we have our Watch Your Pofanity. So there we go. And then I don't really need a bow and arrow because we don't really have anything for that. Alright, let's go. I think we should be fine. We got our stuff. We don't need a bow. Like, we're good. We got the mine going on today. And everything will be fine. 113, let's just chill. I, I really do hope, like, if you guys are excited for the FPC Casino, please stick around. Genuinely, I'm, I'm so pumped to show you guys. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, Sword 2, the Fancy Pants Casino in beta testing. Yes. I mean, we'll figure out. I, I wasn't able to do the, uh, the roulette on my own. But I did play 10 games of the other one to see if the odds were good. And I think they're pretty, uh, you know, they're leaned a bit more toward the casino, obviously. But there is a way to, you know, it's better for the players. So it is in beta testing, and we'll figure out whether or not it's a good combination. Uh, but I think it should be fine, for the most part. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and drop it in the Discord, see if anybody is doing anything in here. Does not look like... Oh, hold on, hold on. Awful, and... Um, a looting sick sword, but I'm trying to work out how I can make it useful. I'm gonna make it like an inquisitive sword for XP There's now. a place off ocean. Oh my and god, dude. You. This... No, stop with the singing the and singing you're muting yourself. What? I'm not muting this time, I'm here. Um, oh hey, what's up, man? What's up, what's up? So, two keys, man. You wanna open them with me? Oh, I already opened mine yesterday. Jesus! <laughs> yes! What? Come on, man! Wait, what? Also, I'm the only one here. Hello? Skirt! Wait, I'm in the middle of doing... <laughs> no! This is why we can't have nice things. Why? I thought it starts at 4.30. Oh my god, I'm not going to get the loot crate. When did it ever oh, start at 4.30? I mean, what? the loot crate's never really easy to find. Yeah, and so it's been like this time for like the last five ever. TBH. Oh my god. I really should just not be doing this, but like I need to PV like my stop. Oh my god. You scared? Oh. You scared? I'm gonna easy two pop you and get to all are your you gonna, are, are you gonna? Do I, that I just thought? might. You keep your stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. keep inventory. But okay. uh, if you die, the winner gets the black scroll one inch and off of your sword. Damn. I don't have a good sword. <laughs> good for you. Then you so... won't lose anything. Good. Yeah, that's a smart thing to do. Actually, you should not bring. I shouldn't have brought a sword in here. Oh, that's <laughs> actually true. Well, you'll still lose all your weaponry, so maybe a good idea to at least, you know. Strike some fear. I, I am here to mine, not to fight. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not yeah, strong yeah. enough. Speaking make, of it, guys. Mine, make mine, not war. The uh, FPC Casino me. has two brand new games that are I heard uh, released no. today. No, I'm just not interested. No, Rob, you, you're going to be interested. <laughs> trust me. Trust me. You will be. Rob, how will you ever make back your gambling losses unless you gamble more? Come on, man. <laughs> Honestly, I've just got like a nutrition. Like, that's all I've got. What? Like, what that's like, oh no, on my, on my sword. Like I'm going in with like a nutrition sword, dude. Is nutritionally balanced? Uh, it's like, really not that? good, dude. Uh, it's not. If so you, you're you saying, so you're saying if I decided to come and start slapping you up, you wouldn't be able to fight back very Oh well. no, I didn't freaking pick <laughs> my ender pearls in my, oh no. Oh, that's Frick. not good. You're in here the whole time without them now. <laughs> nutrition, part of a balanced <laughs> series. <laughs> Look at little Robbie crying for help. <laughs> I just like I just like forgot to do it, dude. dude no, yeah, you know what? Actually, right. throw back to the first day where all you were doing was asking for steak from people. I know. I I didn't bring steak. <laughs> no. You can tell when he's lying for dramatic effect. I literally did not bring steak either. <laughs> oh, Does oh. anyone have steak? I mean, yes, but. Man, I'm behind you. Look, Listen, asking for it would be a mistake. Why are you not wearing a helmet? Do you play factions? Helmets are for nabs, dude. All right, we'll see that on the end of a Listen, dead body. You don't, you don't need. Oh, oh they actually gave me the ender pearls and stuff. <gasps> Bless. Bless for the squad, dude. All right, this has all been already taken. No man. <sighs> I gave you steak. I take the copper. Fair trade. I took one, so get rexed. Well, I'm gonna I kill gave someone. You one less steak than I thought I was going. And by kill someone, I mean I'm gonna get killed. I can't wait. <laughs> Probably. To be fair, I got that gears three flowing, rolling. They're yeah, rocking, they're rolling, enough. you know this. I just want some money, dude. Like, I need- I'm broke. I need money. God, if you guys are- I gotta go to the other side of the mine. You guys wanna team up? You guys wanna kill someone? You guys wanna- you wanna take someone out? I think I'm good, honestly. Vic, Vic got the loot crate. I'm going cash. for Vic. I wanna see- I wanna see how fast Vic kills me, actually. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Nobody's found the loot crate yet, I don't think. I completely forgot it was even a thing. Like, Vic- <laughs> Vic has them. Yeah, oh, no, Vic done. has them. Okay. okay. <laughs> Okay. You can you not hear him in this call? <laughs> <laughs> ooh, 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 like, 
You know what I mean? It's pretty obvious. <laughs> How many did he get though? Like we gotta kill I him. I love my dad. Kill Vic, guys. Kill Vic. Where is he? You're mine, Vic. Ha, huh, I get it, cause we're mining. <laughs> There's a place off Ocean Avenue where I killed you for every key that you had. Where you at, Vic? Arr. Uh, heaven is a half pipe. I think, he, I think he's hiding somewhere. <laughs> oh, I see him! I see him, Vic! If, uh, you grab the keys really far, early, wait. to be fair. That's a problem. At least in heaven, I can skate. <laughs> I've got it. Because oh. right now in this mine, I can't really live. <laughs> without Just everybody trying up. to kill. <laughs> Sidearms, let me bless off you. Uh, Side, don't run. This is what happens when I come in and sink too often. I, now you're uh, doing it. <laughs> it's, it's what I do when I'm nervous. I know. I, that's all I was doing when I was solo commentating the Hunger Games yesterday. Yeah. I probably signed. Si si oh, like oh my. Times. I'm literally too banged. I literally just got too banged by by Kenny. He says yes. <laughs> like that that actually just happened. <laughs> what the hell? These enchants, dude. Good stuff. Get a pick and come back in. Mine's not done. I know. I know. I'm coming back. It's just like it's good 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 to know. You know what I mean? Do you guys have any uh, chromite respawns yet? No, nah, they were here respawn. Not. Is it actually like full keep inventory though? Like I didn't even lose yeah. like the ores. That yeah, uh, is, you, should, but... you have to forfeit your ores. If someone kills you, you just hand your, your ores to them. Yeah, uh, so well, separate the ores that you just got from uh, or yeah. take a screenshot. Nah, or I, I honestly, I had like I had like none. It's not even worth it. Because I, I was here late. I literally got nothing. I, I like, mean, you're such a charity case, Rob. No, Rob, I mean, like, you sure, don't decide I, if it's worth it or not. Kenny decides if it's worth it or not. Nah, but like, I know my boy <laughs> Kenny. You know what I mean? The Ken Chan, too strong. No, guys, send me a screenshot of my inventory before I die. This yeah. guy, man. Dude, I'm oh. not like, you, oh, like, don't do this, dude. Okay, you just walk the other way. I like it. Da, 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 da. When stuff just doesn't it, we gotta really kill Vic. Yeah, like. You think so? I'm honestly like, I've I checked my schedule for you, yeah. Rob, and it's just like. Rob, I plan on giving you the money back. I wasn't trying to kill you. It was just I was trolling. He was testing. Oh. His, I was his just yeah, my bad, dude. I was just trolling. I got like two tap, dude. I, I didn't know if you were like low or something. I saw you hitting speed or sidearm, so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna troll. All, all I was doing is I just want to bless. I just I want to bless my drunk off. Like, oh, the slowness. <laughs> So I'm, my, my axe is no damage, so I'm just like hitting people. <laughs> my bad, dude. Yeah, I'll give you your stuff. Oh, you didn't have anything, did you? I, oh, you I keep had, it. Like, my bad. Yeah, yeah, I, that's I, fine. I had like I had like nothing. I literally was like 15 copper. And, yeah, like, I'm like at the same like, right now. One chromite. If you want it, I'll give it to you. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, dude. I was I was like, oh no, <laughs> what happened? Yeah, my bad, dude. Oh, right. Crip, Vic, Crip, where Crip. are you? I'm uh. Really still I, I, I feel like I can't. I feel like you can't kill Quiff. Like I feel like he's unkillable. I don't killed him try. last time, but now he has Rage Three. Yeah, don't even yeah, try. He's, it's really not worth he's it. He's 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 trying to unarm me because he knows I do no damage. No, the the why does his sword do no damage though? Why does his sword do no damage? He has a really yeah. good sword. It's like not doing any damage. Well, the Hell thing is like... that what kills you is slice, but it doesn't proc yet, or it hasn't proc yet. You just got lucky. Like he hit it's me like, like four or five times, and it didn't do it's anything. It's gonna like one right tap now, me, I... but it three shot me yesterday. So. Wow, seriously? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Or that? Oh, that what? works. What? Did, it, did uh, I have on his strength pants? I don't think he did. Dude, I, th I don't think he had stuff like. <laughs> you might get a really good enchant <laughs> off that blast roll, buddy. Dude, he's. But you killed him? him? Yeah, I killed. I like two banged uh -huh. him. Like I actually two banged him. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to find Vic right now, low G -G. key. Like I know you're in here, Vic. Well, no, I actually well. left. I actually got like uh, I, I got on the bus. That was like there's a bus that like choo, drives to choo, the mine. Choo, choo. Yeah, dude. And I just got on it. <laughs> First it was find the chest. Now it's find the Vic. Find hmm. Vic. Find Vic. You survived for like five minutes, so that's already impressive enough as it is. I oh, saw yeah. him hiding in a hole, but then he ran a roll and disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I was behind you for so long as well. Are you really? Yeah, it's just I was like the whole time you were. Rob, your helmet's there. not on. I know. Kill him. Oh, okay. <laughs> just letting you know. I want I know. someone to do a little it's drive. It's a fast statement. Oh, Chris, oh like, yo, Rob, I think you're in trouble, Rob. I think you're in trouble, Rob. Why? Trouble, Rob. Why? Wait. Why? Because Chris got full gear and he came back. <laughs> well, he's got to give me his stuff. 
Yeah, I know, but if he kills, and not you, if he kills you, I'm pretty sure it's like it's what like. Mean, what do you mean? It's not if he kills me. What does that, that even mean? It evens out. Well, think about it in the mine. You would have just had that in your inventory, and if he kills you, you'd lose that, right? So he gets transferred. Sk -sk he found Vic. I found Vic. The pearls. Come here, Vic. I'm <laughs> Come here. Really, honestly, Fight like, like a man. Like, Fight like I have, a man. Like, a schedule that's so. Oh, I don't want a team fight. Where you going for Vic? Or I mean, Rob. Dude, he tried to do the juke. Like that? I, like I <laughs> don't know that, that strat. Dude. Like that's I don't know that strat. Dude. dude, you threw me off completely. Oh my god. I, oh, why is this always happening to me? How could this happen to him? To me, I made my yeah. mistakes. Got nowhere to run. Uh, I really need to put haste on my pickaxe. Ah, I'm guys. floating away. No, 30, 30, 30 38 out. seconds. Will he no, escape with the keys? That'll be five Come keys in one episode. Damn. Ow! Why are there golems hitting me? Because they're my boys. Are the worst, dude. They're my How boys. many pearls do you have? What is going on? Enough to party with. There needs He's to got be a million. There Ow. needs to be a pearl cooldown, boys. And so chat really fast. Uh... F. Come here. Come here, man. Stop it. No, 15 <laughs> seconds. All right, we have to disable pearls. Go this is boys. ridiculous. Nah, dude, I would have a heart attack if pearls weren't disabled. No, they, they have to be, to be disabled. Cool yeah, down, they should be. They should be cool down. Easy cool down. Little, what do you think no, about a cool down? Only like five seconds. Eight seconds. I think eight seconds would be good. Yeah. So it's eight, open. Eight seconds good. No. no. Why, am Why am I not out? Why am I not out? I don't know. Escape. It's a no. tarp. It's no. a tarp. No. no. He pearled again. Where's the exit? <laughs> the <laughs> exit. No. help me! Oh my god, there's no exit! We're all stuck! Ooh, gold. Wait, we gotta not get this lie. fixed can we, can before... We actually not, like, the, that we should be out by now. This like, is like, this is like a new season of Lost, but it's just... The admins fine. knew it, dude. They knew it. <laughs> We've gotta go back! Oh. oh! Someone else is going up. It's <laughs> a team fight on Vic! So chat, real fast, I'm only here to make money right now, because obviously I'm gonna be handling the casino. So, I'm gonna stay here until like a minute 30 and just get cash, because... That's- I- I need as much cash as I possibly can. Chat and everybody- or like, the admin said, as long as you escape, you know, after like 30 seconds, you'll be okay. But I remember, uh, surviving until like a minute 30, so I'm gonna leave it a minute 30, I think. Uh, we'll go with the border. Cause I think it's getting- it has to be getting fixed right now. Without a doubt, it has to be getting fixed. I can't hit you anymore, cause this thing should be open. But we're gonna have to do yeah, something with the pearls, thanks. that's ridiculous. Appreciate that. Rob, can you go away? I will turn and kill you. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it, you want to catch these? In fact, you know you want to catch these hands. I can, t I can tell. No, 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 I'm good. Well, I'm good. if you kill Rob, I'm going back in then. Yeah, dude, you know you're opening up a can of worms that you don't really want to <laughs> open, right? <laughs> and, and I'll like, I'll one tap you, dude. Easy. And okay. can someone tell me when the way out is here? I don't know, but I'm black scrolling one at Quiz Items. <laughs> Wait, no. no, I go first, Kenny. Yeah, no, yeah, Kenny. you can go first. Don't worry, you're not going to get mine. Yeah. You're going to get something bad. Oh, wow, I just realized, Tony, you got to figure out who goes first in that. Damn, that's cruel. <laughs> he killed it first. Yeah, I Grab a kill first kill. I guess so. Uh, oh, the big star's bad. <laughs> Why can we not leave? <laughs> This is like oh, hell. God, that point, that, what is, what even is that? Acid and rain, minus, some stay dry yeah. and others feel the pain. That's gotta go, dude. That's <laughs> gotta, that, that is, wait, why is this, hello? Alright, here it goes, he's opening it. Wait, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be on it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully Quiff got a lot, well, actually, yeah. That <laughs> That's the most yeah. ghetto opening ever, they just cut a big hole in it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, right, side arms, I'm going oh, in. Lord. That's ridiculous though. Vic's gonna have opened five crates in one episode. Like, what even is this? So, do you know what's the a funny thing? Do you know what's a funny one. thing? I, uh, I found, I found the crate within like 30 seconds of being in there. And I was just lurking by it for like, probably like four minutes, not waiting, not picking it up. Then Quiff came through and went to the dude, chest. Dude, what a side have on his gear. Oh, Vic, I did the same thing You guys are way out of my leagues, dude. Ugh. Rob, get out of here! Uh, <laughs> I'm killing you, Rob. All right, no, 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 no. We're chill, we're chill, we're chill. Yeah, we're chill, we're chill. All right, I'm out of here, dude. Oh. All right, guys, I gotta kind of get over to the uh, the center, find the center real quick here, because we're nearly about to start chunking. It looks like, or at least soon. Yes! I got the kill, and then How? I did. How? How? Oh. How did you get killed by Rob? Right his here, helmet, bro. his helmet broke. Oh, I, saw oh, I don't have anything on. on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. You didn't have poop. I have you two have pairs boots? of boots. You didn't have poots or a helmet. I saw the rainbow uh, thing. Okay, yo, yo, I get. You uh -oh. can keep your stuff, Kenny, though. Oh, thanks, oh, dude. Helmet on the any floor. Happen uh -oh. Wait, any happened to get my chest? Oh, did side fight someone? I have two helmets. 
No, here. I'm gonna go from the chat. I right, know I'm gonna open my crates. Are you guys Sidearm has left the mine. Yeah, Sidearm didn't die. <laughs> All right, so I'm here alone, minute 13. I think I should leave, guys. I don't know, I've already taken quite a bit. I just wanna see, is there any chromite I'd go for? Chromite's more important. I see some nice ores over there, but uh, I don't know. I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna take my blessings out. I think we got a pretty good amount, I'd say. I think we got a pretty good amount. So we can stay there for uh, up until a minute. Up for a minute and we'll be good, right? So let me go ahead and take a look real fast here. I didn't plug my casino. I wish I had like, uh, oh, I could plug it right now. All right, hold on. Let's see how much we got from that. Tell me I got some money to work with for today. Oh, baby. That's pretty nice. We got 2.6 million for the cast today. Awesome, awesome. All right. So how this is going to work, these guys are all doing their thing. Let me go ahead and explain to the uh, game type to you guys real quickly because I want you guys to see what it is before I start. I'll probably have to explain it to the guys, right? But I just want to talk to you guys really quickly here. By the way, also, uh, Elegial or El Elegil? Elegil? 99? Sorry, I I'm terrible. I know I, I apologize. Uh, right now, my girlfriend is in Florida and with Hurricane uh, Ima going on that general direction, we're both pretty freaked out. At least I have you to take my mind off those kind of things. Thank that. Thanks, Sad. Hey, you know what? Prayers of prayers. Seriously. I hope you guys are fine. I hope uh, everything goes well. Hopefully your stress uh, relaxes a little bit. I mean, I know that it can't, but... Oh, man. Hey. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you very much to the 100 bits, though. Flame Emperor. Flame Emperor. Thank you very much to the Prime stuff. Appreciate you. Troller plays MCPE with a Prime. I can only imagine what you do in your spare time. Thank you very much. LG Crook 7960 with a Prime sub as well. Thank you all. Welcome to Hydration Nation. Also, awesome Mudkip underscore with a prime for four months saying, Hey, Pete, keep up the great content, and please don't miss my sub three months in a row. I didn't. We're good. We're good. So, anyway, let me go ahead and explain how the game works really quickly, and then we'll go from there, okay? So, this is... We're going back to this, right? Welcome to Fortune Colors. This is probably my favorite FPC game mode that I've made. Uh, I've yet to see actually anyone play it, but I think it's going to be amazing. So let me go and read off the rules, and uh, we'll go from there. So you see the board over here. Uh, so we're starting like a couple minutes to activate the new dungeon. Oh, it's a new dungeon as well? We got to get people to play! All right, I'll have to like yell at people to play in a second here. Uh, I think we'll have a good little group here going on in a minute. So... Welcome to Fortune Colors. In this casino game, you must match up colors of the wool that you determine at the start of the game. No death or harm is involved. Uh, let me go ahead. I'm doing the same thing over here. GUI scale large. And we also have uh, the five wools in here, just to remind you guys. So, the machine will always dispense a wool out of the top dispenser. There's five wools in the dispenser. The machine is operated by stepping in, flicking a lever, pressing the button, then releasing the lever to release yourself. Uh, I realize that I wrote that kind of wrong, uh, kind of weirdly. So this is how you play. When you begin, you'll be asked to arrange the five colored wools on the first board row in any order that you wish. These wools will determine the outcome of the game. I'm going to read it all through and then I'll actually play it for you guys afterward. The Real Gaming resubscribe with a prime for two months. I love the GUIP and love you, BB. Thank you very much, my man. It's probably the only love I can get after being cut off for the second time today. I'm just trying to talk about a new game coming out and I can't seem to do that. Suck my ass, server restarts, hell yeah. Can we please get back into the games, please? Please, hello. There we go, all right, let's try it. Okay, moving on. Cage Wolf, nice to say for the prime performance. Appreciate ya. Let me try and, okay, so, back to what we were saying. When you begin, you'll be asked to arrange the five colored wolves on the first board row in any order that you wish. These wolves will determine the outcome of the game. The aim of the game is to match the colors you receive from the dispenser with the wolves you arrange on the first row at the beginning. For example, if you put a green wool as the first slot and receive a green wool on your first spin, that's considered a match. After you place the wool on the first board row, you'll be asked to place a slime ball in any one of the five slots on the third board row. This is your safe card. If the wools above the slime ball match as you play, you'll get your bet back. Step into the chamber and press the button. Get one wool, put it on the first slot of the second board row, and repeat this until the second row is filled. The amount of matches between the first and second board row determine your bet payout percentage, and this is how it works. If you get zero or one matches, 
you lose. You don't get anything. If you get two matches, you get two times or 200% your bet payout. Three matches is 300 or three times your payout. And a full perfect five matches is 500% your payout. If two matches line up in a row, you get an additional 30%. And if three matches line up in a row, you get an additional 50%. The rules seem kind of confusing. The gameplay itself is actually very simple, and I promise you it is. Let me go ahead and play. So, say that I'm a better, I'm going to bet $10,000, right? The first thing I'll be asked to do is go ahead and take all of these wools from the item frames and rearrange them in any order that I'd like. So, I'm going to choose, just the way they entered in my inventory, I'll choose magenta, light blue, purple wool, lime wool, and red wool, okay? And then after that, I'm going to pick, okay, so I want my safe card to be... I'm gonna put my save card on the second wall, all right? That's all that I have to do here. Now, as a player, I walk inside, flick this lever, press the button, and I get my first wall. I leave, and I go and put it up on the board. So that one, I got a purple wool, and it didn't match up with the magenta wool that I had above there, so that's considered a loss. Now I go back in, press the button again. I got a red wool this time. Didn't match up as well, and it's not under my save card, so I'm not gonna get my bet back if I don't win. Go in here, flick it again. Light blue. Oh, okay. So the only chance that I have to get any... So I actually can't win right now because of how bad that was. Because the red was already used. So if I go in here, press this again. Oh, what bad luck! Holy shit, I just had really bad luck. And then we could just for our own sake of time uh, get the lime wool. So that was how the game worked. I didn't get any wins that time around so I lost my bet and I didn't even get a match on my safe card so I don't even get my bet back so let me go ahead and take out these five wolves uh one more time I'm just gonna make sure and try to hope that the wolves don't actually leave through the wall and I think one of them actually did I think I'm gonna need some backup no it's up here oh my god it's all the way back around there holy hell so we'll go ahead and put it doesn't really matter the order that you put them in you can I think I'll have the players decide how they want to put it in as well so I'm gonna go ahead and try it again I'm just going to leave it as is. I can go ahead and choose that, and I'll go ahead and keep a safe card. Let's do it on the third one right here. So we'll go ahead and hop in, play, say I bet 10,000 again. We got a light blue. Oh, no. No victory. All right. Flick it again. Lime wool. Oh, still no. Okay, so if we get purple, we'll get our bet back at least if we lose. Go for purple. Ah, it's magenta. Five sakes. The dime block doesn't seem necessary. Well, that's kind of how it works. I could always get rid of that if people don't like it. I kind of like the intensity that it drives. So we have that there. And it looks like I can't win this. Because I've already had such bad luck before. Red wool. Damn. Second time in a row. We didn't even win this. Didn't get a victory. So for anybody at... Uh, what's the point of locking yourself in? I think it's something that I'll be asking people. I'll figure out whether or not I want people to be able to go into the chamber. I think it's mostly just meant to be for dramatic effect. Because I think if you just flick the lever five times in a row, the game wouldn't seem as intense. It's meant to kind of uh, drag out a little bit as it goes. So it's like, you know, at least the game's going to match between you having to walk back and forth. And the locking yourself in is also so when you get the wool, you're not immediately able to see what you put down. Because you just got it or whatever, we're able to check immediately. It's kind of like, eh, all right, it's right there. But this way, if you get a wool, you have to like sneak out. And I'll, you know, I'll imagine people, if they're really doing well, like kind of being like, eh, eh. And then their reaction. I think I like it. But we'll see whether or not players like it if they want it changed. Uh, I can see a couple of people are asking... Uh, are you kidding me? Two nothings in a row. Damn, that's unfortunate. Ashley, four, five, four, three, seven, nine. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate it very much. Welcome to Hydration Nation. So that's the game mode. Hope you guys like it. I did it 10 times off camera. To put it into perspective, I won with two in a row twice. So I would have gotten double my bet twice out of the 10. And then I also won three in a row two out of 10 times as well. So overall with 10 plays, I got four victories out of the 10. And two times of those, it was a triple payout. Which very, if you think about it, if you get a triple payout, all you need is a one in two chance to get a perfect five payout. That's five times your bet. So I really hope people like the idea of this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop in discords and uh, see if people are doing the dungeon, what's going on on there. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like the idea of it. Let's see what's going on. I just wanted to explain that. Chat, what's going on? No friends, please help me. Uh, Rob. I can help. What's he need? Does he want to do a dungeon? I'm kind of down if he wants to.
Pete, did you make a new friend behind you? Sorry? You had a little friend behind you while you were standing in that tree. Did I? Yeah, there was a spider like right on top of your head. Oh, I love spiders. <laughs> he was just chilling like literally right on top of your head. Frost? Yes. Do you want to do the do a casino? Sure, why not? Thanks. I that. have a budget though, so. What's your budget? Probably 100k. Okay. Well, we have a max I have a very low budget. Okay. Is that your is that actually your balance? No, my balance is way higher. I just have a budget that I can spend. <laughs> mm. He says, tell him I love him. I do love him. I love Pete. Tell him. Okay. So Lake apparently loves me, but maybe he doesn't even love me. I'm going to go get the fancy fence then in that case, and I will be okay. right back. So feel free to help yourself down if you'd like to the second floor. There are books next to each of the two open, uh, open game types of the rules. So the two that are open are fancy roulette and... And the wool one, yes. Okay. Just want to say thanks for being there when nobody else was. <laughs> it's I'm also your here. fault for making the dungeon like that, but that's okay. I'm I'm sorry. That's okay. You guys the said you wanted it hard, good. so I made it hard. No, I I appreciate it. I really do. Like it's a, it, it's good. I like it. It's just it loses me friends and customers. Yeah. My pants it have 69 been. durability as well, so I'm sure she's right, gonna love fix that. that. Not, I think it's okay. I think they can stay like uh, that. It'll be fine. Okay. It's a fancy. Can I just like the... pop it out of the item frame? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and pop it out of the item frame. Yeah, there you go. Just you, you, you can. It. You don't have to read. I can tell you if you'd like. It's really up to you. You can do either one. Each uh, one why is... don't you explain it to me? Sure. So, which would you like to do that one, or do you want to do this one? Yeah, the color one. Okay, the color one. So. Uh, as a player, you'll you'll give me a bet. So how about you just give me a bet right now, and then I'll explain the the game. All right. We have a max bet of two hundred k in the casino. That's universal, so we can go from there. Chat, I'm making this a good episode. I don't give a shit. Just so I'm not wasting all my money. <laughs> sure, sure. All right, so that is five thousand. So the first thing you're gonna do is uh, the gameplay is basically you're trying to match wolves with what you predetermined before the game starts so take the five wolves from the item frames you can remove them you can keep them like that you can rearrange them in any order that you'd like to that'll be the uh the base for the game okay i need to work on not letting them be so wild but i think that's kind of <laughs> how it works so feel free to arrange them in any order that you'd like to and then uh we'll go from there right. do the uh, uh. Okay, cool. So then um, the slime ball is the next thing you'll be doing. So put yep. that in any one of the five slots. That is your safe card. Basically, if the colors match above that card, you get your money back if you don't win. So it's like as long as that one ticks out of the five, you'll get your bet returned in a worst case scenario that you lose. All right. Do it there. You have to put it on a third row. Sorry for not explaining. That. Oh, third row. It's on a third. Okay. Yeah, third row, third row. Uh, okay, wait, there we go. Not the one I wanted. No. Okay. All right. So now what you do, let me make sure it's uh, good to go. Yeah, it is. So you step into the machine, and you'll flick the lever okay. to lock you in. Okay. And now you'll press Lever's a button flicked. to get one of the five random color wools from a dispenser. Okay. And Purple. now flick the lever to leave. And now put that wool uh, on the first row of the second one. So you're trying to go in a random matching by the end of the five to see how many colors line up, and that'll determine if you win or not. So you matched oh, okay. a purple with a red, so you lost that one. So I lost that one. Yes. Okay. So I just keep going with it yeah. one by one? Just one by one. See, it's funny, because I can see what you pull out. You can't, because you can't, unless you remember. Ooh! Magenta. Interesting. So you so you match with the safe card. So even if you lose this, which it looks like you're going to, you'll get your bet back. Yay. So there you I go. I like this game. Actually, the first person to uh, have uh, won off the safe card. Totally not because you're the first person to ever play a game. <laughs> and then that's the, uh, the final one. You don't really have to go in if you don't want to, but... 
Uh, yeah, so you matched one, which is a loss. Uh, if you go ahead and open up the book, it should be on the second to the last page, um, oh. what the odds are. So if you match, uh, I, I'll, I'll let you take a look at it. Let me go ahead and reset the machine. So zero matches is a loss, one matches a loss, two matches is 200%, three matches is 300%, and five matches is 500%. All right. So on you. that one, you matched one, which means it's a loss, uh, but you did get uh, your money back. So I got to go right. ahead and give you $5,000 back from that. There you go. All right. This is fun. So that's this game. Uh, would you like to keep playing this or do you want to go over to the Russian rule? Uh, let's go try the other one first. All right. So make sure you're in survival. You have nothing on you. Oh, yeah. I am. Okay. Uh, well, I have to get rid of this fine. All right. So this is going to be a fun one. So this one does involve dying, uh, which is really great. Yeah. Basically, you give myself. me a bet. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to opt myself to give you a bet because I don't have the commands. You don't have withdraw? Yeah, um, I don't no. have any. I don't have right. any commands. I'm just opt. So you gave me $5,000. How this machine yes. works is it has a one in five chance to kill you. So okay. you'll step in and flick the lever. And there's a little uh, relay over here. I guess you can just do it once if you like. So I just have to click the button? Just click the button. You'll find out your fate. There you go. So you survive. So Yay. now, if you decide to cash out right now, you'll get 15% of your bet. So I can go ahead and show you. Uh, it's on the second to the last page on this book right here. I think the third to the last, actually. Uh, how they work in a row. Okay. So it just goes up it just by keeps a certain going percentage up. each time. So how it works with that is the amount of times you get in a row is the percentage you'll get back from your payout. So right now you give me $5,000 and you will get 15% off of one. You'll get like somewhere, you'll get 50% of that payout. You can keep okay. going. The more times that you win, the higher percentage it'll go up. However, if you die, you lose everything. You have you to cash out to get your payback. Otherwise, if you die, nothing matters. I keep your bet and it's all for loss. All right. So that I can go like ahead fun. and keep the uh, the book and quill here while oh, I yeah. take a look at uh, your status on this. So you're at fifteen percent right now. Okay. Do it one more time. See what happens. Oh. So good. you get forty percent. Realistically, you'd want to keep going until you hit four because right now you're still down sixty percent. Yeah. All right. Keep going. Eighty-five percent. Three. <laughs> okay so now you're at 110 percent, so you'll get 500 dollars uh, i made money for 250 dollars if you win this i'll try doing it one more time okay <laughs> i'm gonna die this time credit no 145 percent next one's 190 percent uh, yeah i'll do it one more time <laughs> next one's 225 percent you have you're at 190 right now six wins do I do it? <laughs> I mean, you've already gotten, what, $4,500 from your 5000 so you're at 9500 This next one will set you to... I gotta get, like, a calculator going or something. <laughs> to work we this. all know what happens when you pull up a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the next one will be 225% if you continue. Right, I'm gonna do it one last time. Okay. I'm gonna die this time, I know I am. <laughs> No, nope, oh. I'm good. All right, I'm going to cash out. I'm done. You're going to cash out? All right, all right. Sounds yeah. good. So you would cash out. You would have gotten 260%, but you decided to cash out at 225. So let me go ahead and withdraw. In that case, that would be $11,000, I believe. Am I correct in that? 220%? Sure. Uh, it was 225%, so that would be... Uh, no, sorry, actually. Uh, withdraw 11250 there we go. Yeah. All right, so that's your winning. So you won 2.25 times your bet. So if you had, for example, yeah. like a $200,000 bet, you would have won mm -hmm. uh, $425,000 back. Somewhere around that. That's scary. <laughs> you got to keep like, going. Like, that machine scares me. Which do you like better? I like the color one. I really yeah. like the... I really like color games like this. Uh, it reminds me of... A game YouTubers used to play on a game show a while back. <laughs> someone, uh, someone, I, because I, uh, showed this off on my Discord before it came out, and I got a response uh -huh. from someone saying, Did this come from Life or, uh, what is it? Uh, The Price is Right? Because it kind of seems like <laughs> a sort of Price is Right game type that you would play. Yeah. Sounds so, about right. 
Do you want to go again? You're stealing from prices, right? Yeah. Uh, let me I'm not stealing this. I didn't get that from them. I definitely, <laughs> they could get it from me if they wanted to. I don't know how it would work, but... I mean, I think they could. Yo, imagine they had, like, an interactive one with, like, different colored beach balls or something. All right. $10,000. You can feel free to arrange them if you want to or leave them as is. Ultimately, it... It, it doesn't oh matter God. how they're arranged. I mean, it does, yeah. but like you kind of get Well, it's the just a random factor. Yeah, it's like you're deciding how it is. I like to feel like I'm in charge. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I'm going to do it backwards. And someone says, uh, if you keep betting cashing out at four, you should statistically make more make money unless you're super lucky. Yeah, exactly. I seem pretty lucky if I got to what, seven? Uh, did you get seven, I believe? Uh, it was, yeah, seven, seven. But what they're saying is, like, uh, statistically, you should always cash out at four or five, but the increase in that is, like, it's boring as hell, you know? Yeah, that's no fun. <laughs> it's kind of like how uh, in the FBC with the slot machines up there, all you have to do is go in on the double and bet a thousand. If you lose two thousand, if you lose four thousand, you lose eight thousand, yeah. sixteen thousand. But it's like nobody wants to watch that, right? <laughs> yeah, that's boring. Ooh, First not one. a bad start. All right. Okay. Red. Ooh, so no safe card. Yeah, it's impossible for oh, me to Oh, get... you did lose. Yeah. I just noticed that. Yeah. Damn. It's impossible for me to do anything. Yeah, all right, you can just uh you can just forfeit now if you want to. Yeah, oh, I'm you're <laughs> oh, such a good start too. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I probably should have moved my wild card and all of I mean, you would have found it on the first. You really think you would have put it on the first one? Uh, no, I probably would have put it on the last one, honestly. I'll go again. I want to see you win. I want to see you win this. Because yeah. if you get two yeah, in a row, then you get that bonus. Or if you win three in a row, you get that extra bonus as well, too. These are like games that would work really well with a lot of a higher payout, you know? Yeah. I'm going to move this guy first. It's so right. tricky for me because, like, I can see what you pull out. But you can't, and so you walk around. So I want to like yeah. keep my mouth shut about it, right? <laughs> um, I lost one of the wolves. Oh, it's right, oh, there. It's right there. It's right there. Uh, this is so fun moment. to spectate. We need some music discs in here. I need to get take the music discs that we get from uh, the mm. dungeons. Get them playing in here. Get them rocking. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. All right, cash your bet. Uh, yeah. Here. Another time, cat. Yep. No, it's okay. All right. All right. Let's hope for Should the increase best. the percentages for five matching by 500%. What, to make it 1,000%? <laughs> be a bit crazy. Play step? Right, the chances right. are so extremely low. Well, I didn't tell uh, Frost this, but I did play it off camera 10 times, and I won the double payout twice, and I won the triple payout twice. So four out of 10 oh. times, I did win. I think Frost is getting a little bit of bad luck. Oh, He's still in can beta. I get a pink? Or can I get a blue next? Oh, See the blue or oh red? if you get a blue? If I get them, I'm fine. Oh! oh! <laughs> Snooze, you lose. See, I'm like, like I'm right safe there, if I get a blue a and then I get two. 50. Yeah. And you would have had the 30% extra payout, too. This game's Shit. addicting. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I really Damn, like this game. Man. Oh, I was so close. All right. Uh, I'll run rings back up. Do you want to keep doing it until you win, or do you want... You can call it whenever you want. I want to win. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go. That's still pretty low chances. I, I mean, it. Frost, do you think if I play 10 games, I won 4 out of 10 of them, do you think that that's, like, pretty good? Or do you that's think it should be a bit more in favor chances. of the better? I mean, I've, I've gotten good rolls. It's just, it's random. It's going to happen random. You actually get better odds the farther you go down. So technically, you just want to keep your slime ball later in the game, because then your True. odds are higher. But you also have a higher chance of getting a random one at the beginning. That's true, actually. That's true. But you have had a couple of games where the last two wouldn't have even mattered, though. Yeah, statistically, the first slot's probably your best slot. It Make one match at 50% payback? Ball. Nah, that's what the slime ball's meant to be. It's meant to be a full yeah. payback, I think. I like All the right. slime ball. That's, that's a smart one. Rack up those that colors. Is. See what you choose. Because uh, what was interesting is uh, when I played it, the four out of ten times that I won, I didn't mess with the top row at all. I kept it stacked yeah, the entire with time. Yeah, no, I just let it be how it is. So you might be even ruining your chances more by changing them up, you know? 
Yeah, people probably have stuff on that now. They're just gonna be like, "Oh, if he would have not touched it, he would have gotten." This <laughs> yeah, one, exactly, that. exactly. And they're watching back. They're like pausing, taking screenshots. <laughs> All right, I'll see what you do. Red. Oh. All right, so you're already nope. not gonna get your bet back. Lost my slime. <laughs> This one technically does not matter. Oh, that's nice good, spot. actually. That's good, that because now you pink. have the last three to work with. Ah, oh, one. <laughs> this you really doesn't like now. me. You can't win. Yeah. That's oh, actually over. Oh, no. <laughs> it really Damn. does not like me. I guess not. Maybe like... I just won't play with it this time. Okay, so you're going to try it just as it yeah. is right now. Okay. Are you gonna keep the uh, the slime ball that you have like that, or? Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it. I might Holy do two of them, just way. keeping that the same. Okay, okay. All Here's right. your money. Here's your dirty money. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. As if 10k pays for anything on this server anymore. Yeah. Like freaking baby boomers. <laughs> Blue. All right. So that's a swap. Watch, it's gonna be backwards. <laughs> oh, purple. Oh, tricky, tricky. Theoretically, your best bet is to keep the order the same and always keep a slime ball on one. Interesting. Oh, I got lime that time. I'm done. You're already out. <laughs> oh, yep. damn. It's so like. Yep. <laughs> I kind of want to go. The slime ball to one. Do you want to? Do you want to be the better and I pay to you? Oh yeah, I can do that. All right, I've never done this before. It, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I, I can't. You can't wear the fancy pants. I have to keep those on the company policy, but. Uh, That's fine. Looks like you'll be the. It was uh, my dream, Pete. What I think would be fair, though, is uh, do you want to keep these in the dispenser like that, or do you want to rearrange them a little? Oh, that's fine. fine. Okay. It's okay. It's I'm gonna, truly random. I'm going to play the uh, what they said. I'm going to I'm gonna keep a slime ball on one. I'm just going to go like that. Let's see what we do. All right. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, shoot. What? <laughs> huh. What? If I don't win at my own machine, it's rigged? <laughs> well, I guess this one doesn't matter. That's good. Oh, so I need pink. If I get anything other than pink, I think I'm out, right? Oh! Oh! Oh, oh this is. This could either be huge. Oh, shoot. You need a green or a blue. Wait, well, no, need I, need a a, I need a green. You need green. Oh, frost! Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Tried so hard. Oh my god. Damn it, man. Oh, and I lost anyway. It doesn't even matter. That's hard. See, that's the game right there, right? If I would have yep. gotten green, that would have been a 350% payout. And I mean, it's random. That was a 50 50 chance, right? Fuck, so, man. Damn. That happens. That's better chances than your casino. <laughs> your, uh, uh, more than the first machines. floor? Stole from you. Man. All right. You want to go again or do you want to call it here? Uh, I'll go one more time. One more time. You all got right, the last right. two. Well, yeah, yeah. I got the last two. Well, they're set up. All right. Oh, it's almost so good, man. Fudge. All right. There we go. Uh, I'm going to switch one of them. Ooh. I'm switch that and that. And knowing my luck, it's going to be my downfall, but, you know, not the end of the world. Let's see how we do. God, I'm nervous. Uh, Is Lake still yeah, in the dungeon? Uh, I don't know. I think they're still in the dungeon. I am not informed of these things. What's the first one? Magenta? Magenta. Aw. Close to magenta. If you wouldn't have... S <laughs> yeah, Frost. if I wouldn't have swapped them. <laughs> oh my god. You see how it works, too? It's like, you know what? This you swap them, so, so guess watch. what you get. This game is so fun to watch. <laughs> Green. Lime green. All right, you've got. I... Wait, so... you already lost, I think. Uh, yeah, I lost. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> I lost in the first two rounds. <laughs> All because I got two of them. them. Hold on, let's see. Yeah. I want to see. Go in. I want to see the next one that goes out as a pink. I want to see. Watch, it's going won. to be pink. <laughs> No, okay, blue. thank God. All right, all right. <laughs> Holy hell. We're, we're good, we're good. All right. No. Oh, I want to go good again. Good fun, man. I want to go again. 
You want to go again? I could, the thing is, like, I could just play with myself with this, right? Like, I could just, like, I mean, if that's allowed on Twitch, like, I could just do it myself, man. All right. I'm going to... I'm going to leave him as is, but I'm going to move the slime ball down to the third one, I think. I'm going to keep it right in the middle. All right. Going for... Looking for Magenta. Oh, okay. Damn, it's a red. All right. If I get Magenta on this one, I think that'll be... That'll set me better. All right. Yeah. Oh, yep. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's what I need. Uh, I need purple here. Oh, purple. God. Oh. oh. Is that a loss? That's a loss. Yep. Damn. All okay, maybe it. I do need... I don't know. Like, because I... I did play this, and I won four out of the ten times. Two, a double, two, a triple. But maybe I do need to change up the odds a little bit on this. Does it have better odds than Nooch's slot machine? That I think anything. I can asked. make this a one in ten chance, and it would still have better odds than Nooch's <laughs> slot machine. Maybe... I say play it one more time, and if you lose completely... Then, then we'll then we'll figure issue. it out. Alright, but if I win five times in a row, then we'll we'll see. So <laughs> Alright, let me go ahead and swap those right there. Maybe add another row to stick. Uh no, because I think having an uneven five is better. I kinda like I thought four is too little. Six. I don't know. I think the five's okay. The five seems consistent. Okay. Yeah, because your feedback on this is nice too. Alright. Uh okay. Looking for magenta. Here we go. Lime. All right. Nothing good on that. I forgot which one. I think it's red. Oh my god. I think you lost. Yeah, you lost. I already lost. Oh my <laughs> god. And it's just bad luck too. Wow. So what do you? Maybe I'm trying to think of a way to fix it. Like if it would be able to make it a bit better. But I mean, you have a How one in five chance good... of getting the first. How did I get such good odds? And then it just people are thinking, um, are saying a second slime ball. So you have two wild cards. Well, that's not or even you... the issue. Well, that's not the issue, right? Yeah. The only it... thing I think of is if you get the last one, you get your money back. But then it'd just be a static last one. Right. You get your money back. But you'd have to get another one correct. Yeah, pay or, increasing actually. the payout as well, chat, doesn't fix the, the machine, right? <laughs> if you have more columns, you'd be less likely to lose so early on. True. Does that but... mean you have what a twenty percent chance of getting the first one? Yeah, you have a twenty percent chance of getting it. The... Actually it's interesting. If you were to try getting the entire thing, right, you have theoretically a twenty percent chance to get this and then a twenty five percent chance. And then a 33, and then a 50. So it's yeah. like your odds get better as you go on, which is why it's a five times payout, right? Because technically, it's just a 20% chance of you succeeding at the beginning. That that's the biggest issue is getting the correct. It's the first one, right? The one in five. Because yeah. if you get if you lose another one beforehand, so say you lose the green, you completely lose that percentile. Right, 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 right. You're, you're correct. Because I want to show uh, really fast here. Hold on. Where is my... Because I have screenshots of it. I actually took, like, full uh, documentation because I wanted to, you know, to figure out the odds or whatever. And I can show you guys. This is before, actually, I added the wild card. Uh, let me go ahead and pull it up here on... Uh, let me find... Where is the reaction? Uh, yeah, so, guys, take a look at this right here, right? Okay. So... This is what I was doing before, okay? This is on the machine uh, from last night when I was working on it. So this was the first round that I did. I got a triple victory on my first try. Purple, green, and red. Second try, I got uh, a loss. Third try, I got a double win, or a triple win, actually. So blue on the first, and then red and pink at the end. Fourth one, I got a single win. That would have been uh, nothing right there. Fifth one, I got nothing. Sixth one... I got one column, which was not a win as well. Uh, seventh one was just blue, so not a win as well. Uh, eighth one, one column, so another uh, no win. And then the ninth one was a blue and green, so that's a double win right there. And then the last one here was also a loss. So that that was my ten in a row, right? I started out with a triple victory and then had another triple victory as we went down the lines. So, I mean... The odds aren't bad. It, it's... 
it's not the odds. I think it's just the randomness. It's gonna happen. Dispensers are so random, or if that's a dropper, either way, they're uh, random. Dispenser, yeah, completely random. So it's play, yeah, let's see. Yeah, black wool idea. You just throw in a black wool and say, if you get that one, it works for any. Oh, that's smart. Have like a wild card. Hmm. Do you want? But try that kind of right like now? screws over another one. We can try. If that it. was the case, if there was a wild card one, we'd have I'd have to change it to where um because at the moment there is no possibility to get four matches because the fifth one by default would be a match. But if we added in a wild card, there would actually be a possibility of you getting four of the five. So, I like that. Do you want to try that? See how that works? Sure. Uh let's just for the time being, uh, do you have a black hole that you can just toss in real fast? Or yeah. any I think it's actually a black wool in one of the chests. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. So let's try that then. Um, okay, so we'll put the black wool around from there. Okay, let's uh, take it for a spin. So first one. Lime wool. Okay. Second one here. Magenta. So not very good of luck right now. Third one. Purple wool. So that's a payout right there. So the only chance I would have... Okay, so now, by default, right, if there was no wild card, I would have to focus... I'd have to get a, uh, a red right now to win. Yeah. And I got a red. Yeah. Okay, so if there was no wild card on that one, let's just ignore that it... E I guess it doesn't matter, right, at this point. That was a yeah. stupid test. So either way... So we got a, a blue wool, theoretically. So that's two right there, so that would be a two times payout. Yeah. So it works. I, I like the idea of the wild card. The thing that I'm thinking, though, is that if you have the wild card, that makes winning at the end incredibly likely. Like, if you put the wild card down, right? If you took your... I feel like if we have the wild card, then we can't have the safe card. Because if you... And that's the case, right? I feel that, like if you put the safe like card, it. you'd have a much better chance of putting a safe card on the fourth or fifth one. Because the wild card would... Maybe? No, I don't know. I don't know, because if you were to, say, get the black one first, you'd put it in the first slot, and then it's very unlikely to get the... It's just that it comes up too often in the last couple of ones, right? Because at the end, yeah. there, if I didn't win, that was a 50-50 chance of me at least getting one. I don't know. Let's uh, let's play it again. Do you want to try with a uh, with a wild card in now? Uh, sure. Okay, there we go. I did it. Uh, change the wool or whatever you'd like to, safe card or whatever. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> Sell a second safe card for $5,000? That's... Yeah, I don't know. No, actually, I forgot. Here you go. There you go. Gotta pay to okay, use so your machine. 10000 <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh! Magenta. Come on. Already starting Thanks. out really well. Alright. Next one. Okay. Propel. Not bad. I guess the wild card does make it so you can't lose, like, right off the bat, right? I got one. Yeah, it does. Okay, so you need to get a red here. Or a wild card. A wild card. I got blue. So you need to get the wild card here. And if you yeah, get the wild card here, payout. you'll win double payout. I didn't. Oh, damn! <laughs> wow! You won on the I got it completely shifted. So right there, the wild card legitimately didn't even matter. Yeah. Damn. So it happens. Okay. Like, this is good beta testing. So do you think we should keep the... I think I like the wild card idea because before, right, you could lose on the first two and that sucks. Yeah. Now you can't. Now you because can... Because you have a chance. Exactly. You have to... The, so if you have the wild card, the only chance you'd have of losing is if you got a wild card on the fourth and that was your only match and the fifth one wouldn't work at all with the last remaining wool. And the first one, you have a much higher chance of getting it now because it's a, what, two and six? Yeah. So now it's a 33% chance of you getting it. Mm-hmm. Which, Let's I mean, it it's really high then. Let's do it again. That was almost a really... That was a good win. Because we still haven't had a triple. We still haven't... We have had a double. We did have a double just then. We haven't had a triple quite yet. I feel like I also, for my own sake, I need to make a rule uh, because... I don't like the idea right now that I'm just putting in the wool into the dispenser randomly. I think I'm going to make a set rule where, like, it goes uh, red, green, blue, magenta, purple, black. I think that's how the dispenser needs to stay. Because the only varying 
that should, this game should have is the five that the player chooses, but the dispenser should always have the same set. Yeah. Kind of how in the casino upstairs, the gold is a perfect layout. Yeah, I think I'll set it like that. Yeah, that's smart. All right. I mean, you can just keep a little list of it on the ground so people can see that you're not changing it. Okay. Do you want to play or do you want me to play? Uh, you can play. You can play. I'd rather spectate. I think it's a little bit better for uh, my end. Uh, what's the first one? Uh, magenta. 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 We haven't changed. Lie it. I got blue. Can someone explain the payouts for this game? Two matches, two times. Three matches, three times. And perfect row, five times payout. Uh, I was going to say I lost, but technically... Did You're not. still good. You're still good. Like, it, Okay, so this is the thing. This is where the wild card actually makes it to where so, you yeah. would have lost if it doesn't exist because you can't possibly match the last two. But because there's a wild card out, all you have to do to get double payout is pull the wild Just card. Pull the pull wild black. card. All right. And you Which won. There you go. You got two times. So now you're done. Uh, you can't possibly get three times. And you actually, because of that, get two. So I would give you $23,000 because you got the extra 30% because they're two in a row. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So chat, if you guys rewatch the video, there's live chat reactions on Twitch. I don't know who was the first person to suggest the black wool, but you can go back to this section on Twitch and you'll be able to see who that chatter actually was, uh, the person in the chat. Also, creative said F, so I think that Lake lost. Uh, probably. I think he lost. Let's see. DXL lives Lake B. Odds might be Player a little Lake too B high. Lake B does not exist. I think he's done with the dungeon, though. Yeah, he's done then. Hmm. So with this, do you think there should still be a? I think there should still be a safeguard. You're missing the green. Maybe the say okay, so I think the odds for the wool are perfect now. But the question is, do you think the safe card should still give you back your entire bet if you get that one? Or do you think it should only give you back half of your bet? I think half would be smarter. You think half? On your part, at least. Okay. Just because okay. it, it's fair. It's fair. It gives you a chance to kind of have it. I know it's a low percentage that you're going to get that one. But I mean... Technically, now, you'd be smarter putting it here. Because you have a 1 in 3 chance of getting that. True, actually. So, so yeah, in that case, it needs to be a 50% then. Because a 1 in 3 yeah. chance... Because people are going to figure that out, right? <laughs> Maybe I need to do it. You know what we need to do? We need to do it to where uh, the slime ball has to be changed every bet. I That's think. smart. It can't be in the same position. It can't be in the same position because you're right. This is the best chance that you have, the one in three initially, to get yep. the uh, the payout. But if the next person was to go along, they would have to change it. And they would, you know, they could just do the next one next to it, right? You know, the second one. But maybe they want to make it a bit more interesting or not do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or maybe but still, have that's going to be a much higher or a much lower chance than getting the first one. The first one's always going to be the easiest one to get. Three matches should be double payout. Thing. Otherwise, you lose too much money. We haven't had a single one of those yet. I mean, we got to figure that out, but here, I'm going to go ahead and do it then. Uh, in that case, I'm going to leave the wool and everything uh, as is. So, see what we get. Purple. Okay, so the one and three did not uh, go well for me. Magenta. Okay, so I only have... So I need to get a black wool right now. Black would be my best yes. chance. Oh, red. Well, so you still I have, have a two chance. I have a two and three. I have a six-six percent chance to win this. Wait. Yep. No, not to win. Just yeah. to get this match. Well, no, because if, oh, well, if I get the, get the black and then the green. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Come on, baby. Not blue. Okay. Yeah. So, so now I have a fifty percent chance to win, and I need I need the blue. I can't get the green. Ah! <laughs> uh, 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 come on! Tried so hard. Damn! I like it. I like the idea of the safe card. I, re or the, I like it as well. The black wool. I really do. In this case, the black I is screwed over. Just one shifted over. Oh, man. Yeah, it's actually funny if you think about it, though. Because, like, the black wool made it so you had a 2 and 3 chance to get one win, right? But you still need to hit another 50% chance 
to get the victory. Yeah. If the Black Wolf hadn't have existed, you only needed to get one fifty percent chance to win the game. So the Black Wolf exactly. being a safe card actually made the odds worse. Mm-hmm. Except at the beginning, it helped at the beginning and it hurt the end. It made the game kind of balanced throughout I the I love this game. thing, man. Sorry, like, you know, because, like, I don't feel like I'm, you know, bursting my ego because <laughs> now this is, like, help from other people. Like, we took a game that I made and made it a lot better. This is sick, I like it. Dude. It's really fun. Thank you. It's quite addicting, too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This was the one that I, because, like, the other one was, uh, I, I made that back in Season 2. Uh, I just yeah. made the odds a lot better this season. To where it's actually more fun because before it only used to be 25 percent increase no matter what and it wasn't very enticing for people to play it wasn't worth it um, yeah. but this is the game that i made last night and the second i made it i'm like i'm way too hyped to play this so, yeah that's really cool you can make it so the black wool is used the color that used it is taken out of play no that's too in favor of the of the betters i think yeah that'd be too Sorry. much because then if that black wool that black wool is a 66 percent chance I would have had a 60% chance to win the game, and then it wouldn't have mattered. I think it's better that the Black Wool uh, stays there. Florin, you want to play? Friends. <laughs> How do I play? Okay. Let me run you down. Brandon, I want you to run you down. Through. I want each of you to spin this once, okay? So we we just beta tested the living shit out of this, and it's really good now. Okay. So <laughs> you'll place down a bet. You'll place down a bet. So say like $10,000 handed over to me. The first thing you do is you take five, these five wolves right here and rearrange them on the first row in whatever way you'd like. You can leave them as is. You can, oh, great. Uh, you can leave them as is. You can do whatever you want with them. Uh, and that's just how it is pretty much. Now, your gameplay is to match wool from the first row to the second wool. Uh, wait, hold on. Is like going to... Yo, yo, yo. Casino? Do you want to play? <laughs> really? Yeah, like, this, I want to play your new All right, get in here so I can explain it to everybody. I just beta tested the living hell out of this thing. Let's go. Okay. Whew, dude. Oh, sweat. Uh, sweat. If right, I was wearing a white shirt, you could see the sweat underneath my armpits. <laughs> <laughs> well, take off your clothes right now. The armor's not allowed in here. So. They, they did the dungeon. They completed it. Full yeah. completed? Oh, I have I have yep. so much stuff in my inventory. Yep. Damn. Um, let son. me go throw it at spawn. No, no, no. You don't. I'll come back. We what if I die, right? We have no, we have like 50 million chests oh. here that you can just put your stuff in. Okay, cool. you're, you're good. You're good. Thank you. Find, find a chest, put your stuff in it. It's good. It's good. All of Pete's garbage is in there. Yeah, I need to clear <laughs> all right, right, right. Oh I didn't have time. <laughs> all right, children, gather around the campfire. Let me explain the game mode. Frost and I were addicted to it earlier. So, the oh game mode's gosh. called Fortune Colors. So, for example, <laughs> Florian just dropped me a 10k bet. First thing you do is you cash in your 10K. bet. 10k. We'll call it 10k. I'll ignore the other three digits at the end. All right, okay, anyway. All right. let, let me explain the whole thing without interruption, because, like, I don't want any to be confused. All good, it's all good. All good. So, what you do, the first thing you do when you're a player is you'll rearrange these five wolves at the top here in any order that you'd like. You can keep them like that, you can rearrange them, do whatever, move them around any way you'd want to. This dispenser over here has six different colored wool in it. Your gameplay is to match the wool at the same colors and the more that you match the higher payout that you get so for example uh i'm gonna go ahead and uh play the game entirely through so i think it'll be explained the best that frost do you want to be the uh dealer in that case or do you want to oh, be yeah, a player yeah. i have a question i have a question hmm. there's five wolves here there's six in the dispenser yeah it's a black one that'll That's be explained. part of the game so the black one is oh, actually okay. a a safe card so frost would you like to uh step into the machine yep so we'll say that frost just paid me out 10k right Ooh, diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and flick the lever. I flicked it. Or the, the button, rather. The button. You don't flick button. Yeah, you guess you don't. Yes, you do. Duh. All right. You, you make a T flip-flop behind it, and then technically it flip-flops. All right, calm down. So here's here's the thing, right? <laughs> he just pulled the black wool out of there, which is the wild card. The black wool matches with any other wool. So he's already matched Ooh. one, and he matched above where he put the slime ball. The slime ball is his safe card. So no matter what, if you lose, if you win, uh, if you put the slime ball down and it matches above that row, you get your bet back. So if this is the only one he matches, because he got that one that he put down earlier, he'll get his bet back even if he loses the game. I thought we just so said you get two wild cards technically. Uh, a slime ball and a black wool. 
If well, the slime ball, the slime ball is meant for the matching to get your bet back. The black is a matched up wool to total your, to your victory. Oh, the slime can be anywhere. You the can slime can be moved anywhere at the beginning of the game. Oh, before gotcha. playing. Okay. So for us, we keep going. So there's there's multiple wool colors inside. Yes. That thing, right? Okay. All right. So you match the. So that's not a match. Still only got one. That's a red. So you need green here. I need green, yeah. Oh no! You lose. And then just flick it at the end, just to just to do it, I guess. Get the green one out. There you go. So green. throughout that, he matched one, which means he loses. You get double your payout if you match two, triple your payout if you match three, five times your payout if you match all of them. Technically, oh. don't I get my bet back because I got the slime? Yeah, he so got diagonals. Get so you get back. Got back. Got back. <laughs> <laughs> the diagonals, huh? huh? I didn't pay you anything, Pete. That's okay. You can just keep it. Florian paid me ten yes. million dollars, so it's okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> Money. Yes. Lake, you want to go? Uh, I you think I understand. So basically, in? all you have to do is you have to match the second row with the wool above. Random exactly. Wool exactly. Okay, that's so, easy, dude. That's super easy. I yeah, mean, yeah. till there, that's what you do. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Did you just, did you just <laughs> audibly pronounce TLDR? Tilder. Tilder. Yeah. <laughs> lovely, lovely. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back in the machine. Feel free to arrange your wild card and the wolves on top in any way that you'd like to. Okay. Who's playing? You playing, Mike? Uh, yeah, Mike I, got, playing? I got dude. I got it. I want my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Went into my inventory all the way over here. Alright, and here's the wild card. Oh no, or not. Okay, got right, it. There's your wild card. Here, Give me the wild card. So I did actually misinform. If the wild card hits, you get half your payout back. Uh, not oh, your payout. Your payout back. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, are you guys ready for this? Let's do it. walk in here, I flick the so button. Flick the lever, and then flick the button, and then flick the lever again. Oh. Okay, that's one down. All right. Oh wait, I gotta pay you. How, what do I pay you? Uh, whatever. I mean, you've kind of already. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I. Here, Let's I'll just take you. it for a free spin this time around. I'll pay. Okay, you free spin. All right. I mean, I was gonna drop you like 50k in the beginning, anyways, but okay. Sure, sure. Why not? It's a free spin. Okay. Boom. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. So all you need to do. Oh. Uh -huh. This could be big. He's already won double the payout. Ah, <laughs> oh, the purple. We'll though. pretend he Dang did. We'll, we'll pretend he did pay out fifty. We'll pretend he paid out fifty. You can still get black though. Like, so you can get oh. a three times payout if you get black. Otherwise, you don't. So you're going for black right yeah. now. You don't want blue. Okay. All right. So there's only go. one color. Hey! Yay! Damn! Yay! Well, so much. that right. Okay, so that right there, uh, it's in the book if you want to take a look at it, but basically you matched up three, two of them were next to each other, so, wait, hold on, oh no, wait, that doesn't apply. So, no, 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 <laughs> because this is the wild card, right? So the wild card, I only get half payout on this row? No, the wild card doesn't matter if you win. The wild card doesn't matter if you win. Oh, okay. That's just for a payout oh, if you okay, win. okay, I was gonna ask. So, That's a safety. there's nothing so extra matches. on this, you get three times your payout. So, I'll pretend you did pay me 50k, uh, and I'll go ahead and pay you 100,000 from that. Okay. There you go, that's the game. That was fun. That, that, what about these, these suicide boosts? Do you have that done? Uh, that one's not operational, but the main one <sighs> right here is. If you want me to give you a rundown on that. Fancy roulette? Yeah, dude, I want this. All right. All right, so, so basically, pizza, uh, right? the How more much? times you survive, the higher percentage you'll get. If you want to go ahead really fast and read this book, uh, the actual payout percentages are on the third to last page. <laughs> like slide at the bottom to say you're cool with dying. <laughs> it has a one to five chance it will kill you, and you have a four out of five chance you'll survive. Blah, 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 blah. How to play. Give your bet to the fancy casino holder dude thing with Jigger. Take off all your armor and inventory and store it away in one of the chests. Some of the machine and press the buttons. Do this as many times in a row as you can. Each time you survive, your bet will be reserved and your winnings at an increased percentage. So you receive 15% of your bet every single time you survive. Okay, that makes sense. And cash out, you will... If you survive five times in a row and cash out, you'll receive 145% of your bet. All right, so... So if you check to the next page, it'll show you what the payout yeah. percentages are for every time in a row that you win. 
It gets okay, so really good. If I good. break your machine and get 13 clicks in a row, then I get five, five times your payout. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. Can we, can we not? Cool. Florian, please. Love you. <laughs> All right, and remember, you have to actually cash out. Otherwise, if you die, you get nothing. Yeah. All right, there's 100k. Good. Let's do okay. it. I guess we'll have to okay. keep the book open for this. Oh, well, all right, he's already dead. Well, that was uh, no, that was that was a great uh, the first one that we did. Yay. Good job. You're really surviving in there. Why are you not dying? There we there go. Okay, that's a good time. Because my heart's because I haven't relogged. <laughs> oh, wonderful. No. Four in, you go real quick. Okay, pay out. Or are you not, you're not paying out? Oh my gosh, freaking invalid login session. I hate you, Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> so much, dude. Frost, what's uh, funny is that would have been a loss for you. Because Frost did it seven times in a row earlier. Alright, 50k. Yay. Alright, so that's 15%. Are you having trouble? Just, just keep hitting the button. Just keep hitting the button, seeing you survive. No. And you're in creative <laughs> <That's mode>. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave creative. I'm actually losing arrows the longer you stay in there. Um, here. Can you put them back in? This? I don't know why. <laughs> look, 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 look. I'll just, I'll just, I'll, I'll fill up your arrows again. Like a terrible man. Thanks, boss. Appreciate it. <laughs> and he goes back in there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I want to run one more time. You know. <laughs> you just <yell> <laughs> yourself, you derp. Yeah, I'll deal my stuff. It was on purpose. I got four arrows, the thing's full. <laughs> Lake, you want to go up. again after that uh, bad luck from so before? TPA. One second, one second. Let me quickly. Let's do it one more time. I <gasps> made it. This is like right. Saw, right? <laughs> slightly, slightly. If, if you make it out, you make it out as your reward. Yeah, there you go. Alright, Lake. What do you want to play again? Yo. I, dude, this one's fun. I like this one. This one's great, dude. This All is right. a great, I've never even thought like of something like fortune colors. <laughs> yeah, you don't... Oh. Alright, so we have it. Oh. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, Minecraft, I hate you today so much. Alright, uh. we'll go for... <laughs> <laughs> Florian's like, all right, I'm ready. Florian, are you playing? Yeah, let me put down. There we go. How much? How much? How much do you think I should give you? Max for that 200k. Where's a max? What is this casino? You know what? Frost was really yeah. nice. He came in here and just played some games, had a lot of fun. You're here trash talking, <laughs> breaking things, making noise. Get out of here, kid. You keeping my money? <laughs> Come on, come on. Play play the damn game. Play the damn game. Come on. Uh, yeah. This is how favoritism starts, Florian. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's really yeah, everybody loves starts. you, Frost. Wait, is that a purple? Yep. Oh, it's a magenta. <laughs> <That's> magenta. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good now, guys. Okay, in Minecraft, don't crash. Bless up. Okay, one second. I'll hurry up. Alright. So we'll lose either way, aren't I? No, you could still win. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, you meant to match up the colors, right? <laughs> Can we, uh... Do you have, like, cameras in the ceiling? I'm just trying uh, to the you lost already. There's literally nothing else you can Yeah, actually, you already lost completely, even if you get the wild card. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Well, he could get the black, right? Uh, well, yeah, no, he would only win match. one time. He needs to win twice. Oh. So you still lose everything if you only win once? Yeah, yeah. You have to win okay, twice okay. for to get a double payout. All right, I want to do this again. Lost. It's fun. All right. Bye, Florian. See ya. See ya, Flo. That was the day that Florian resigned. <laughs> <laughs> After yeah, having a super hard dungeon. <laughs> That it was released, yeah, that was uh, totally bug free, right? Alright, like, feel free to arrange if you want to. Alright, um, I don't like this color scheme. I need to adjust it a little bit. I mean, you know, it's good to get a workout during this, you know what I mean? Like, get yeah, some jumps going, you know, you know, get your ankles, you know. Alright, and this guy, boom, blue. Alright, how much you dropping on this? Alright, slash pay. 
Wait, slash bell pizza. How much you got? I got, okay. I got enough. I got enough. Just making sure. Oh, whoops. I did slash pay them out. I'm stupid. My brain's lost after that dungeon. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. All, All right. right 100,000. All right. Feed. Oh, I can't feed. Oh, gosh. Dang See bet. All right. Click it and click it. Ooh. Starting off. Oh, that's Ooh. great, actually. Uh -huh. <laughs> Except for now I have this pink wool that's going to be somewhere on one of these ones, probably. Right? It might not be. Yeah, you yeah, might not just, actually even yeah, get the pink Yeah, it may wool. not be, but very unlikely. This is already the, the best chance you have of winning, because you can get a double payout pretty easily now. Oh, would you look at and that? And he wins! Oh, sorry, Pete. I'm sorry, Pete. <laughs> Keep going. Now, actually, here's the thing. If you don't win... Ooh, okay, so oh. he actually gets a 30% payout if you don't win the triple here. 30% extra. Oh, called it. Nope. And so, that's it. All yeah, right. do anything that's else. That's so it. I'm, I'm gonna do it just because. Just because. There you go. So, there. Uh, how the rules work is if you if you get a double and those two were next to each other, you get an extra 30% of your payout. So you get $230,000 out of your 100k. Oh, nice. Not bad, dude. Not so, bad at all. There you go. Okay, do you want to explain this one over here? Because half or half, that sounds fun. It's not open. Know what it's this not is. open yet. I, but, I like to take you... my time with these, and I just I spent more time writing out the fancy colored books instead of actually oh. getting the machine off. Well, I mean, it's fancy <laughs> pants casino, right? You gotta have fancy colored books. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right. Well, I think I'm done for today. I would love to hit up the uh, this this one again sometime for sure. sure. Yeah, and I mean we're probably gonna have because uh, I don't know if people are gonna be doing a dungeon run tomorrow, so we're probably gonna have a lot of people playing this in general. Hopefully. Unless yeah. people don't like me, then you know that's that's okay. But um, yeah, I'm glad you I'm glad you like the machine, man. Yeah, dude, it's fun. I mean, I, I'm already two hours and seventeen minutes into the stream because of that dungeon, so I definitely got to head <laughs> Same off. Here. And my bag is killing me right now. Ah, but it was you fun. Need to invest here, in a standing about... desk, man. Do you, do you need this book? Because I got an extra one. and I don't want it. What is this? And this one too. Here, take that one. I got an extra one of those too. I'll donate them. Oh, that recover. Ooh, that's a yeah, low exactly. chance. Oof. Yeah. All right. Right, anyways, thank you. I'm going to head off here. Good luck. Have fun. Have a good rest of your day in California where it is freaking super hot. And yeah, we got fires. We got 100 degree weather. It's all fun here. Yeah. Hey, I was don't up in Reading when the other you... fire started. It was so smoky. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. See you, dude. All right. I'm going to go ahead and dip off. Much love for us. Let's show the lake. Get your guess. All right. So that, uh, you know what? I didn't think we were going to get a casino time uh, in this episode, but honestly, that w you know, I love it. I love it. And I want to say thank you to you guys for uh, being beta testers as well Where as Frost from? just being I'm awesome about the entire yeah, thing. Okay. Um, probably the most respectful admin that we have on the entire series. Uh, but yeah, that was, uh, I, this is, like I said, my favorite uh my favorite machine that I think I've ever made. I've made the Russian Roulette one, or I mean, I've implemented it right for, I didn't make it. Um, and obviously this one's still, I mean, technically when you think about it, all the redstone that's behind there is really just for dramatic effect because this really isn't even the Russian Roulette machine. It's just, disp you know, like it's just flicking a dispenser. So I guess I can say that I came up with this one on my own, despite using Crayfish's uh, tutorial for it anyway, so I can't take credit for the design. But I can't take credit for the actual game type and making everything else. Uh, but the black wool is awesome. The save card's really good too. I think it's a really good, fair balance between them. And it actually makes sense too, because if you think about it, this is what I really love. The black wool, and there was black in itself on the uh, on the banner. So that's cool. I, I like the uh, I like the chance. We have uh, all the other colors on the banner that are over there, even though this one's a light blue uh, compared to a dark blue, but that's okay. Either way, this was really fun, and I think this one's going to be a lot more fun too once we get players to play on it, because with admins, it doesn't really matter if they die, whereas the players, I think it's a little bit more intense. So we'll get people working up on here, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, man. Started off a little bit slow, but that's just some pretty solid casino gambling, I would go around to say. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and end it off here. Before I do, I got to shout out some people. I now with 500 bits saying, hydrate yourself. We just did. Thank you very much, my man. Pancakes49 with a prime for six months. Enjoy that gold badge. Much love. Hamadu404 with a tier one. Appreciate it, man. Welcome to Hydration Nation. Uh, Virages Maker with a prime sub. Thank you for that. Golden Palladium with a tier one for four months. Much love to you, man. Nick Carmack with a prime for four months. Saying, hey, Pete, it's been four months. Much love to you, man. Appreciate it. Bball6333 with 100 bits. It looks like I donated time for the fancy pants. 
We've been doing this for a while, huh? I'm probably gonna completely get rid of the dungeon part portion of this episode and just keep the betting in, because it's kind of what I wanted, and I think we did way too much dungeon of... I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, Rogo Official, thank you for the tier one. I'm thonking right now, thank you for the prime. Nice name. Can we get some thonks in chat for that one? Sam Garnet won with a prime for four months. Thank you very much, my man. And I believe that is uh, everything. I think we're caught up. Yeah, cool, we're caught up. All right. Much love to you all. I'm going to go ahead and dip. We've been streaming for uh, a lot longer than I expected, but, I mean, it just past 420, so we had a little bit going on there. Thank you all for watching. Take care, and we will catch you all back next time. Ciao!